Here we go. Good evening. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're starting a new parak. This is Perak Misha Amar. We're starting on Dab Tes Zion at the open of the parak. And tonight we'll be learning up until about seven or eight lines on the top of Yud Zion and Aleph. A lot of the Mish Mishnah that we're about to read now, lengthy Mishnah, it's all, almost the whole of, of the Amud. We've already learned pieces of them throughout the previous uh, Perak and Prakim. So some of this is just going to be a Chazara. Uh, the parak opens like this. Misha Amar HaReini Nazir. If a person says that they would like to be a Nazir, Megalech Yom Shloshem Ve'echad, they should cut their hair after the completion of all 30 days. And B'Diyavid Ve'im Gilech Le'Yom Shloshem Yotza. Even if you decide that you want to get your hair cut on day 30, you will still be Yotze. That is considered acceptable. Maybe because it makes us a Yom Kekulo. Whatever the Lamdus is, we do allow for that haircut on, the, on day 30, B'Diyavid. A person says, HaReini Nazir Shloshem Yom. This is different. This Nazirus is not Stam Nazirus. Stam Nazirus is when you say Hareini Nazir. This Nazirus is a 30 day Nazirus, and that's different. Why? Because in Gilech, Liam Shloshim Lo Yatsa, there the 30 days have to be full. Stam Nazirus is Shloshim Yom with the principle of Mixa Sayam Kekula woven in. Was but if you like, say, what? Is it like Tamima, like the Sphere of Omer? Yeah, similar concept. Shleiman has to be, now that 30th day has to be a full part of your Nazirus. Because you have to complete your Nazirus. Like 31 is the, 30 is the full full 30. And then 31, you can get your haircut. Yeah, 100%. We'll see that in a moment in the Gemara, that this was used as an argument against uh, against one of the Shitas, where we saw that they held that maybe it was only 29 days for Stav Nazirus. Okay. Misha uh, Nazar Shte Nazirus. If a person accepts upon themselves two Kabbalos Nazirus, Megalech is Harishon Aliyom Shloshim Echad, he should really shave on day 31. And the second one, 30 days later, on day 61. However, Bidiyevid Bim Gilech is Harishon Yom Shloshim, Megalech is Hashniya Yom Shishim, because these are Stam Nazirios, and Stam Nazirios is 30 with the principle of. So therefore you can do day 30 and therefore you can do day 60. On the last day, if you did on the morning of, if you did during the day on day 59, you're also Yotze. We have this exact um, idea that was taught by Rav Papias as follows. That if a person gets a haircut for their first Naziris on the 30th day, they should get their haircuts for the second is your Sunday 60. And Bidi Yevid, Vim Gilech, Liam Shishim Chaser Achas, Sunday 59 Yatsa, Sheyom Shel Shloshim Ola Lo Mina Menyan. This was a little bit of yesterday's discussion of a day that really bridges two different worlds, Ola Lakan, Ola Khan. Here we see the application of this yet again. We're two thirds, three fourths of the way down at the two dots in the, within the Mishnah. At least I have that. And the Mishnah continues. Misha Amar Hareini Nazir, Nit Mayom Shloshim Soser Sakol. A person says that they want to become a Nazir. If they become Tameh on day 30, they've ruined everything. That's the sheet of the Tanakam. Rabbi Eliezer Omer, Eino Soser Shiva. You only lose the seven days that it takes to become Tahor again from the Tuma. Then you can bring your Korbanus, but you did not ruin. You know, we saw this, we saw this already. We saw these, this Machlokas already. Hareini Nazir Shloshim Yom. Same contrast. This is not Stav Nazirus, but a Kabbalah to hold 30 days worth of Nazirus. In that case, Nit Mayom Shloshim, everyone agrees Soser Sakol with no dissenting opinion, because there everyone re recognizes that if it's not Stam Nazirus, but it's a specific set of 30 days, it's not Stam, I said I'm keeping 30 days of this Nazirus, so the 30th day has to be full, and therefore if I become Tame on that day, so Sakol, we have nothing to rely upon, to say Mixasayam Kekula, nothing at all, you're done, you've lost the whole thing. If a person says they want to be a Nazir for 100 days, that if a person were to become Tamei on day 100, they ruin everything. So as we saw a few lines ago, here the rules are different in regards to Shloshim. And uh, we saw a Pasuk earlier in the, in, in the Masech about why it's uh, Shloshim. If a person becomes Tamei on day 101 after making a commitment to keep 100 days of Nazirus, there too, there is a stira of 30 days and he has to wait a full 30 days and then he can bring his korbanos Rabbi Lazar Omer and Usosar Allah Shiva he would only then uh, have to be a steer of Shiva also the Shittas was as we saw earlier in the Mishnah that brings us to the Gemara we just finished the Mishnah we're at the very bottom of Tezayin of Aleph at the open of the Gemara Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehakon Amen So the Mishnah quotes, the Mishnah gets quoted in the open of the Gemara. The Mishnah says, Mishu Amar Hareini Nazir Benit Mayom Shloshim Sosra Sakol, Rav Lazar Omer Eino Sosra Lashiva. We see that there's a machlokas that's quoted from our Mishnah. How do we understand this machlokas? And that brings us 
So the top of Tezayin of Bez, where the Gemara says, Kasavar Rabbi Eliezer, Kol Achar Melos, Shiva Soser. So after a person finishes Rabbi Eliezer's of the opinion, and he, we see it twice in our Mishnah, and earlier in the Masech to quote it out of context, what do we see? That he holds anything that's after you've actually completed your obligation of days, then you have a seven-day uh, slap on the wrist. It's not really a slap on the wrist. It's just getting out of your tuma of Hazor Shlishi and Shvi. It's just getting out of the tuma Sames, and then you can bring your Korbanos. The next part of the Mishnah was Haredi Nazar Shloshim Yom Venit Mayom Shloshim Sosra Sakol Lo Palag Rabbi Eliezer. Nobody argues over here because this is not Stam Nazirus. This Nazirus was actually a full thirty-day Nazirus. Not that the Gemara says this was what uh, what Michael was talking about a minute ago. What does he hold that it has to be to Amar Shleiman? This Kabbalah is not Stam Nazirus. This Kabbalah is Shloshim Yom. You need all all, all thirty days fulfilled, and therefore it's Shleiman. No dissenting opinions here. What about the case of Harini Nazar Mea Yom and Itma Yom Mea, Sosra Sakol? Rabbi Lazar Omer Eno Sosra Al Shloshim. This we saw the Machlok is about a person who makes a 100 day commitment for Nazirus. On the last day, the Tanakama holds he ruins everything. Rabbi Lazar says it's only 30 days and says the Gemara, and this is what uh, Rabbi Freeman was saying in the back. This whole Mishnah was actually used in both directions, both for Rabbada and for Rav Masna. As we saw, do we say that Kadosh uh, Yihye, 10 5, 10 5, it's obviously 30, or do we say it's up to Lamed, which is 29, big machlokas? We saw earlier in the Masechta that really it's not a machlokas, it's just different approaches. Fine. But this Mishnah was used as a, the ping pong table, as it were, in order to show us different versions of how to understand Barpada and Rav Masna. Next Mishnah, let's say Mishan Nazar v'hu bevesa kvaros. So you're a custodian in a uh, yeah, that's your job. You're a grave digger, and you're standing in a in, in a grave on top of an of a mace, and you say Hare Alai Nazirus Hare Nazir whatever the language is. I feel Hayasham Shloshim Yom even if you've been there for thirty days. What's the din? Ein Ola Ein Ola Lo Minaminyan. These days don't count. And you did not violate the Isser Tuma of being a Nazir. It's a fascinating thing. Never started. Yeah, but like, I, I, would, I would have thought that the mechanics of making a neder are functional, irrelevant of your location. Even if you made it in a place of Tuma, okay, so you're an Am Haaretz and now you're Chayav Korban for becoming Tame. Uh, I just wouldn't have thought that it wouldn't have worked. Well, yeah, very good. We'll see. We'll see what happens there when you leave the. That's good. That's the next line of the Mishnah Mamish. Exactly. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the guy who's been through Shas already. You know. Have you finished Shas yet? <laughs> very good. Very good response. Very good. I wanted to know if you really remember this Mishnah by heart, if no, that's what was going no, on. I okay. Not, okay. Not, yeah. So the Gemara says already with the hint that uh, Stan was, uh, your Neshama remembers, your Neshama remembers. Yatsav and Nichnas, if he leaves and becomes Tahor from his Tuma, this is a very important add to the Mishnah. The Mishnah just says Yatsav and Nichnas, if you go out and come back in, we assume that that's right. It's not correct. You have to leave and become Tahor and then come back in. If that happens, so then says the Gemara, all and Lomin Amenyan may be Korban Tuma. Then, no, these days are now, now they're being tabulated, and now you're a goner, and you're going to be, you violated your Nazirus, and you have to bring Korbanus. Nazirus as long as he wants. In that case, he can stay there forever, yeah. But once he leaves, it'll kick in. Once he becomes Tahr. Once he leaves and becomes Tahr, it'll kick in. That's what Yatsa means in the Mishnah. It means that he'll leave and become Tahr. Now, all of this is the Tanakama, Rabbi Eliezer, third of the way down, Rabbi Eliezer, Omer, lo bo bayom. it's not true. If on the day that he becomes Tahor, he comes right back in to the Beis HaKvaros, he has not started his Nazirus. Same. It has to be the same day. It has to be the day you become Tahor. You can't become right, Tahor right, in a right, day. Right. So let's say you leave on a Monday, and next Monday you finish your Tahara process, and that day, the day you become Tahor, is the day you go back to the Beis HaKvaros, that's still not Nazirus. And it's not because of a svara, it's because of a pasuk. Shina Emar, the Mishnah quotes a pasuk, Vahayamim ha rishonim yiplu, your first days they fall away. What does that mean? Ashilo yamim rishonim. In order, you need to be tahor for a set of days before you enter back into the tumma world. And therefore, a loophole in halacha, it's a state in psukim and chumash, it's not like a, 
It's not like a knech that an achron came up with. His mamash pasuk and chumash is that if you were a, if you're the custodian, you're the grave digger, and you walk out, you're gone for seven days. You you become tahor. You walk in that next morning back to work. You're still not a nazir. Okay. Itmar, let's get into how the ton, how the Amoraim understood this. We're a third of the way down at the open of the Gemara and Tez Zayin Amid Beis, heading to the top of Zayin Amid Al. Itmar, the Amoraim have a machlokas. Misha Nazar, who beveis hakvaros, if a person accepts Naziris upon themselves, or at least tries, but they're in a cemetery, as our Mishnah said, that place is ineligible. Rav Yochanan Amar, Naziris Chala Alav. Really, the other principles of Naziris apply. You cannot drink wine, and you cannot get a haircut. Why? Well, it's not that the Nazirus didn't work. The Nazirus worked. But we can't, we can't hit you upside the head and say, how dare you, how could you, when you're already tummy mace. Like that, it's not that the Nazirus didn't work. The mechanics of the Nether worked just fine. This aspect of Nazirus was limited in scope because you're already tummy mace. So that makes sense. Tovalim shares Viado a little bit, again, if the application is correct. Rish Lakish Omar, a Nazirus Chala, I love no. No, the wine, by the way, this is not in, in Rashi or in, in the Balea Tosas here, but that we're talking about wine. It's in the Tosas Rashi. I have it quoted here on the side. He writes that we're talking about the Asar B'yayin V'tiglachas. And Rish Lakish was of the opinion, is no, ain't is your schala alav. Zero, flat line. Rav Yochanan agrees in Lamdus that really, not in Lamdus, in practice, that if you drank wine in that Beis HaKvaros, you would be Chayv Malkos for that. Why? Because uh, it started. You just we just, can't, we just can't slap you on the wrist for, uh, for Tumah because you're already tummy. So now let's get into each of their shitas. Rav Yochanan Amar Nazir Shalala of Savar Mitla Talia Vekaima and Kevin de Mishka Chata Rachayla. Really, it's Mitla Talia Vekaima. Really, this thing is, uh, it's sitting there. It's ready to go. It's the real deal. You're a Nazir. The only reason why we can't do anything about the Tumah is that we, uh, until we find Tahara, we can't tell you that you're tummy. <laughs> so you got to first become Tahar. But otherwise, you're still Chayv. Rish Lakish, no. Amar in Nazir Shalala, Yehadar, Amar Chayla. If he comes back and then he re accepts upon himself that he's a Nazir, yes. But just showing up again in there, in the in the in the in the base aklaros after becoming Torah, it's not correct. Be low low, and the Gemara is going to ask three questions on Reish Lakish, and then we'll stop. Here's question number one. Two thirds of the way down, Eisve Rav Yochanan the Reish Lakish. Hold on one second, Reish Lakish. How can you say that there's no Nazirus at all? After all, Bishen Nazar Vuhu Beveis Akvaros. I feel Hayash Hashloshem Yom Ein Olam Ina Min Yin Veinu Maybe Korban Tuma. And the Gemara makes a deal. Korban Tuma Hu Dula Dula Maisi. But Hamechal Chayle Ale. All the Mishnah says is that you're not bringing a korban because of the tumah because you're already tummy mace. You can't, you can't that, that that doesn't work. You are already tummy mace for for other reasons. It wasn't a violation of nazirus. You shouldn't have made your nazirus when you did. It's complicated, but it doesn't make it an iser. But the diuk is not like you, Reish Lakish. The diuk, the diuk seems to imply hamechel chayla ale that yeah, you're restricted from tumah. That I should say there's no iser tumah, but everything else should apply to you. Amar le, what would Reish Lakish say back to Rabbi Yochanan? Zero. You made the diuk incorrectly. Zero. When it says that there's no tuma, we were talking about tuma. And in regards to tuma, zero. And zero for everything else also. Don't make the diuk that you made. It's incorrect. Question number two, five, six lines from the bottom. Eswe. It will never become hollow? If you never leave. If you never leave. Yeah. And even if you come back, if you don't say that I'm I'm, I'm actually a nazir again, it doesn't count. Your, it's, it was a zero what happened. It was a zero. They're, they're drastically different opinions. It's not like Rish Lakish says it will kick in. It's just that whatever we have like a hang up, it's zero. Yeah, total zero. Eisve, next question. Mishai Tame the Nazar. A person was Tame already and they became, uh, uh, they, they took upon themselves Nazirus. Look at the language here. Asr le Galech, Velishtos Yain, Velitz Malamesim. All three are Asr. Vim Gilech, Veshasa Yain, Velitz Malamesim. Here is a Sovik is for all three of those violations, you get Malkos. Says the Gemara, if you want to say, like Rav Yochanan wants to say, that at least there's the Chalos, at least there's the Chalos of the Nazirus, that's why you get Malkos when you violate some of these things in the case of Tamei V'Nazar. However, why would there be any Malkos if you're saying that it's a total zero when you're when you're Tamei V'Nazar, if you're in a Beis HaKvaros and you accept the Nazirus, if it's a nothing, What's with the uh, Sofeg Yisrael? There should be no Malkos, according to you. 
What does he respond? Top of your dying. You learn the same Mishnah I did. You, uh, that's, I'm going to create a new Kimta. That was a case where he left and he became Torah and he accepted upon himself in his years again and walked back into the Beisach Bar. But you're right. Taka, you're right. Had it been that he not done that, you're right. It would have been a zero. Third question. And this question ends in a question mark, actually. It doesn't really, our sugya will not be done. We'll be picking this up tomorrow with a blot and a half in your Hashem. Eisve, ein bein tame shenozar, a person who was tame who became a nazir, le nazir tahor shenitma, or there's no difference between someone who started out tame and became a nazir, or who became nazir and then became a tame. Ella, that tame shenozar, that when it comes to a person who was tame first, shvi shelo olamina minyan, the seventh day, of his tuma of his tara process is part of the count. Now this is a very technical aspect of how we do the seventh day of the tara process. We're just going to make a quick deal. If what you're telling me in the case of tamesha nazar is that it wasn't chal at all, amai ololomina minyan. Why would it count? Why would it count at all? There's no naziris yet. So that the Gemara leaves as Akasha. And tomorrow we'll pick up with another approach and a drastically different approach on how to understand Rav Yochanan and Rish Lakish. We'll stop right here. Wishing you all a beautiful night. Mm-hmm.